angry guy here, and I'm 40 and I've never had a girlfriend. I'm 40 and I've never had a girlfriend is what I guess you would have expected me to say. But that's just the title of the video. That's not the case. I've had plenty of girlfriends. I've gotten laid plenty of times. But there's a new trend on the internet, specifically on YouTube, where guys basically talk about saying that, you know, I'm 44 and I never got laid or I'm 26 and I've never had a girlfriend. So we're going to go ahead and just check out some of these videos. Let's just go right ahead and jump right in. So I'm a 26 year old and I've never had a girlfriend in my entire life. The reason that is, is because I've just been a very, very shy person who stays to themselves and doesn't really go anywhere or do anything. I come from a household where I have no siblings that are close to my age. And I was pretty much raised by my grandparents who were in their seventies at the time. Never really did anything but just play video games all day and live with some old people. And I really think I stunted my growth in doing that. I thought in doing what I was doing, I was kind of avoiding my home life. And I was just so afraid of winding up like my parents, becoming like alcoholics and the people I was around in school that I basically just wound up avoiding everything. I wound up avoiding drinking or anything. Just, I don't think you need to drink to have fun, but I just was too scared to try anything or do anything. So I just stayed to myself and it has stunted my growth as a person, I think. So now I'm trying to fix that. And my goal this year is that by the time I'm 27, I want to have at least a prospect of being in a relationship. I tried online dating. It really hasn't worked out for me. I, I haven't done that great of a job too with the online dating because I don't take pictures of myself at all. So like just finding pictures of myself to use. I know a lot of people have those really nice like photographer taken where they've got their hand on their knee and they got a really nice backdrop, but my picture is just me like doing a selfie almost. And it probably comes across as pretty lazy in comparison. But like I said, I just don't take pictures. I don't have any social media accounts that I use to pull pictures from. I, I just been pretty much a recluse and there's another area where I'm, I struggle to adapt, but I'm making things happen for myself at the same time. I, this year, starting in January is when I set that goal. I've really been going through a lot of my stuff and updating it. Uh, just like my sense of style. I had some raggedy shoes I got rid of that had like lawn clippings uh, hanging out of them because the sole was coming undone. I don't have to find the So there's been a lot of videos blowing up on YouTube along the lines of I'm 25 years old and have no friends. Or, I'm 27 years old and have never had a girlfriend. And even the biggest channels on YouTube and I don't mean like literally the biggest channels. I mean, guys like How to Beast, guys like Jack Demo that have hundreds of thousands, if not you know millions of subscribers talking about this, reacting to it. And I just turned 25 years old yesterday. I have never had a girlfriend. Have I slept with girls? Yes. Do I get like attention from girls? Yes. But what it comes down to is not understanding the bigger picture, which is you can't be loved by someone else until you love yourself. So the biggest mistake that I've made through the first 25 years of my life is relying on other people to make me happy, right? So like friends or a girl, and I'll give you guys an example. And by the way, this video, I literally just pressed record. So this is all the top of my head because I just feel like it's more real doing it this way. The biggest mistake that I made, and this was, I don't know, like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was seeing this girl, right? Like I told you guys a minute ago, never had a girlfriend. So I was seeing this girl, we were hanging out every weekend, hooking up and I do YouTube full time for the NFL. So obviously like I watch football and love football and she knew that and she was like trying to learn more about it and she invited me over to like teach her football. And that was a great night. It's like one of the best nights. That was probably like the best night that I've had with a girl ever. And I had this good thing going, but then I started to get not like needy necessarily, but she was making me happy, right? Like more happy than I was making myself. 
And although I was still getting work done, making money, but like it just came to the point where it was like I was just looking forward to hanging out with her. And then when we started going out with other people and like hanging out, it's like there's obviously other guys and there's good looking guys. And I definitely did get a little insecure, although like I love myself in the sense of my like looks like I like like I don't have any issues with the way I look like I'm six one. I'm not the best looking guy. I don't think I'm the worst looking guy. But still, like you get around guys that are in amazing shape and have money and are taller. And it's just like it sucks because, you know, that, you know, if the girl can find someone better, she probably is. And it just like kind of you know gets at you. And yeah, I just started to like make mistakes and all the things that got me into the door, um, unfortunately, weren't able to keep me in. And I haven't talked to her in like, like I said, two or three weeks. And she still looks at like my stories because probably trying to see what I'm doing. And that's kind of my point is the only way to actually like bounce back from that would be to level up. It's as simple as that, right? Like if I stay the same way that I am, like if I don't get into better shape, I don't start making more money, improving my social skills, my diet, like if that doesn't improve, then T obviously made the right decision and you can't even really argue it. And it's not like you should go out there and do all these things to try to prove someone wrong because I was hanging out and talking to this girl for a year straight and I finally told her how I felt and I got rejected. I got friend zoned and then I ended up taking off on YouTube. I finished up school, college and started getting better with girls. And it was basically all out of spite for that rejection. And I still do have that girl on like social media and she's married now, but I realized how stupid that was because at the end of the day, it really is not going to make you feel better. If you like, if I were to completely change my life around just out of hate for that girl, like cutting me off, I mean, she's still living rent free. Right. So that's the thing is focus on yourself. But I hate when people are like, I'm just focused on myself. He's like, I'm not trying to talk to girls, date girls. You can do both and you should do both. But it's also do not let any girl dictate your happiness. So like, I'll give you an example. Like I matched with this girl on Bumble and I hate dating apps and I don't recommend using them. But yeah, I matched with this girl on Bumble last night and she's like ridiculously hot. She might be the hottest girl I've ever matched with. And I've matched with like a few really hot girls. And like, yeah, she lives really close to me. She's probably like 10 minutes if maybe less away. And the old me would just be on my phone, like, or have my phone next to me. My phone's on do not disturb right now, by the way, keep your phone on do not disturb when you're working, please. I'll get into that a little bit later, but I used to keep my phone like on the whole day, have it like uh, a noise on when I would match with a girl or something or get a girl's number when I go out. I don't know. And sometimes it would come, sometimes it wouldn't, but when it did, it's like, I'm not doing anything like I'm not busy. So it's like, okay, now it's like, I don't want to respond right away. And sometimes I would respond right away. And then she'd respond back like hours and hours later. And the thing is that shouldn't be on your mind. And it's in the back of my mind. It's not completely gone, hasn't vanished, but it's not the first thing in my mind right now. I, I've already made three videos today. They, the third ones will be up in about a minute. I've made, it's uh 3.53 PM. I wake up at noon just so you guys know. Um, And then I work to like, as late as I really can. Um, I'll take breaks, play with the dog, eat, stuff like that. I'm probably actually about to go outside in a little bit and just get some air. Um, it's cold as hell. I'm in Connecticut right now back home. But that's the thing is keep your phone and do not disturb because your goal should be work and getting things done, right? Because you don't want to get lost in social media, right? You don't want to get lost in something that doesn't exist. It's like if you play, like I'll give you another example, RuneScape, right? Or if you play a game on the computer, you're leveling up your character, but you should be leveling up yourself. Same thing with, uh, you know, like Fortnite, Call of Duty. I don't have an issue with video games if you play an hour a day. But also for me, I just turned 25 yesterday and I'm still not making much money. Um, I have my own business, which is good, but I want to make more money, right? I want to be better with girls. And the good thing that this guy, this young man has done 25 is he's come to realize that your central focus of happiness should never, ever revolve around a woman.
A man has to take care of himself. He has to focus on himself, his physical health, his mental health, his financial health, his spiritual health. Your relationship with God should always come first. You know, I, I've said this once and I'll say it again. In the in the poll of, you know, the things and are the organization of things that are important in your life, your relationship with God comes first. Your, you know, your health, your wealth, your relationships, those things you prioritize. Okay. Every a woman comes comes literally at the end of everything. When I say at the end of everything, I mean a woman comes at the end of a fart. <laughs> That that is the importance of your a relationship. A woman in your life comes at the end of a fart. Okay, this is what you have to really comprehend. There is no reason, no place, no time when you should ever prioritize a woman because she is not prioritizing you. If you're texting a woman and she messages you back, guess what, dude? Do not text back quickly. The fat the faster you text back, the less likely she is to text you back quickly. I'm just being honest with you, okay? Always make her wait a little bit. Always make, be it 10, listen to me, 10 minutes, an hour. Listen, bro, The way if you're dealing with a woman in Western society, and of course, it's different around the world. If you're dealing with a woman in Western society, bro, you could message her back next week. And by messaging her back next week, especially if you're dealing with one of those baddies, Message her back next week or message her back next month. I guarantee you that a lot of the time she won't even notice that you didn't message her back until you've taken a long time to message her back. And that's what she may notice. The, the shorter you take, the shorter the amount of time you take to message her back, the less likely she is to acknowledge you or respect you. The longer you take to message her back, the more she the more attraction you've built. I'm just being so honest with you. This is just how they work. And it's another reason why you want to avoid dating and relationships in Western society because they are immensely toxic right now. You gain literally nothing from them. And the woman takes everything. You know, there are a lot of dudes who are 40 and they've never had a girlfriend. They've never been intimate with a woman. And you know what? You know, these guys, some of these guys, they own a house. They own a car. They have a decent job. They have, they have a good amount of savings put away. It's like, basically, bro, what are you even worried about? You know, you work, you go to the gym, you work out, you're in pretty decent shape. You know, if you're balding, shave your head, dress better, learn how to dress, you know, learn how to carry yourself. And I'm not talking about walking around like in a suit and all of a sudden, no, learn how to dress laid back, dress, look clean, look relaxed, learn how to dress, you know, and then go from there. And don't worry too much about what women think about you. Don't worry. In fact, don't worry about at all what women think about you. You should never care what a woman thinks about you. What a woman thinks about you is absolutely meaningless in your life. Men, men have never lost women chasing money, but they have lost money chasing women. Never forget that. It is a bad idea to chase a woman. It's a bad idea to put a fo focus on a woman. It's a bad idea to even have a woman on your mind. It, like, it, if you're married to a woman, she shouldn't even be on your mind most of the time. I know you're like, what? Because, you know, you have to learn how to separate yourself from your relationship. You have to learn how to, even if you're in a relationship, you have to learn how to not commit fully to that relationship. What I say fully? It's not that you don't commit to the relationship, but you always have to be ready to leave. Always have your bag packed. You like if you're a married man, you should have an exit strategy. You know, you should you should know where like because this is the reality we live in. I've always talked thought about it very carefully. If I'm in a relationship with a woman, I have a bag. I'm going to make sure that I have a bag with clothing, like everything I need in that bag, tucked away somewhere. Maybe put in a storage locker or something. I'm going to have it or in my car or whatever. I'm going to have a bag. A bag with with the necessities in there, ready to go. Copies of my copies of my my passport and all these other things, all sitting in the bag. My passport, driver's license, or I have a you know a digital backup so I can you know get to a computer and get access to these things. Because God forbid something happens, I can't get into my house because of something that happened with this woman. But I lose access to all my IDs. Let's say she takes my wallet. Let's say she locks me out of the house, changes the locks on me. Oh, well, 
I have copies of all my IDs, so I'm going to be okay in that moment. You know, I have I have a way of retrieving, you know, getting into my account, you know, transfer my my phone my uh my phone over to another line. You know, I have a bag I have a bag packed at any given moment, so and it's not in the house. So if I need to, I'll go retrieve my bag, put that, and I'm good, and I have everything I need in there to start rebuild to to pick up and take off immediately. Like you are, like as a man, you always have to be, have the ability to walk away at any given moment. And when I say walk away, I don't mean just walk away from your from a woman. Walk away from being able to walk away from a wife, your wife, from your kids, from your entire life, from your what, from whatever you have. This and a lot of dudes need to understand that because there are some dudes like I'll never abandon my kids, bro. Your kids, what good are your kids? Are you being around for your kids if you're? If you get to a point where you, you know, she, your life gets just gets ruined, then you can't do anything for them. If you can't help yourself, how are you going to give your kids a better quality of life? There are times when men have to walk away. The best thing to do is to walk away from everything and go and rebuild, leave the country, get away from the situation. A lot of you have these loyal mentalities, and that's that's what ends up bringing you into the into destruction and then when you have nothing and those little buggers have betrayed you you're like you're there and you're bitter and guess what man I, it's like you you'll remember oh angry warned me and then you and you you'll like puff your chest out like like you know f that guy like what bro just because i told you not to do these things and you went and you thought you were your own big man and did them anyway and you want to like argue now and say this shouldn't have happened because you're a genuine guy and you did you were in the wrong and it's like dude you're being a child you were, it doesn't matter what's right or wrong. It don't, what, the only thing that matters are facts and reality. And you chose to overlook reality. You chose to go out there, mess around, and then you found out. You know, you were told not to do these things. You were told to prepare for certain things. You didn't listen. And now you found out. And now you want to take it out on everyone else. When it, but you know what? You knew exactly that. And you got this knowledge for free. I'm here giving you all knowledge for free. Okay? Knowledge that I had to suffer to get. For, for my stupid simping ways and my stupid, like the mistakes I've made. I, I'm here sharing, sharing this knowledge, this experience. And now you can gain wisdom that way because a smart man learns from his own mistakes. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. You're not smart or wise because you can't learn from your own mistakes and you sure as heck don't want to learn from my mistakes. And the only time you finally learn is after you've messed up so much that now you're completely down in the mud and there's, there's really nowhere else to go. Like, guys, let me tell you something about life. Sometimes you think there's a, like, you know, you can't go any lower. You're like, I've hit rock bottom. Dude, let me tell you all something. When I was homeless, I learned you can always go lower. There's always a new rock bottom. There is always a new rock bottom. I want to know your thoughts regarding everything we discussed in the comments. If you agree that a man's central focus should never be a woman, you know, a man's focus on a woman in terms of prioritizing what's important should literally come after a fart. I want to know your thoughts regarding this in, a co in the comments. So let's talk about it there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and men walking away. And cheers.